some life movements. IMEP is an international master of environmental policy degree co-conveyed by the Sanford School of Public Policy and the Nicholas School of the Environment here at Duke University. In the degree program, students spend three semesters at Duke Kunshan University outside of Greater Shanghai and one semester here in Durham, North Carolina. My hometown is in Henan province, Zhengzhou city, which is one of the most polluted cities in China. When I'm sitting in my bedroom, I can see nothing but white, haze and smoke. So I joined the IMAP program to abate the environmental problems in my hometown. I never imagined I will end up being in an environmental program because my undergraduate major is international relations. As a kid, I always uh, thought about how can I contribute to the world. I thought maybe I can study environmental issues, but I realized for really complicated environmental challenges, technology and science is not enough. There are people, there are policy, there are society involved. So I think IMAP is perfect for me. With IMAP, you're getting all of the elements of a public policy degree, the statistics, the economics, the policy analysis, but all of this is focused on the environment. There's not another program you could enroll in that would give you that. DKU, it's like an American university transported into China. I've gone there every semester and I teach a module. I think that's been another fun way I've gotten to interact with the students. One thing I really like about DKU campus, everything's so convenient. You can develop a very close relationship with the community. We are a really small program. You spend your days together, you study together, you eat together, and you support each other. Grammar well, students actually like a family. At Duke, this campus has a longer history. The people are from different countries. Semesters in DQU is preparing us for the basis. And the semester in Duke is like giving us a chance to elevate what we are interested in. Many have asked us why would students want to go study environmental policy in China when you could study anywhere else in the world. China is one of the largest emitters of greenhouse gases. It has a tremendous environmental footprint. Having a program in China just opens doors. China and Asia right now are facing all these environmental policy questions. If you were in the United States and you were studying environmental policy, you would be discussing reforming environmental policy or improving environmental policy. In China, you're talking about creating it. A core component of the IMET program is our focus on practical problem solving. All of the faculty are involved in applied research, and through master's projects and independent studies, students are able to work with policymakers and problem solvers in all different sectors that align with their interests. Nowhere on earth can you find another place that the faculty members are so available and are so accessible and so friendly. We have very different professors from different backgrounds. We have Philip Heitzer, who is a well-renowned economics professor, Jun Jie Zhang, who is focused more in air pollution. Here at IMAP, I met my amazing supervisor, Professor Bing Bing Li, who is a conservation biologist. The impact she has made inspired me, and I found my passion in community-based conservation. I don't think there really is one typical IMEP student. They're adventurous, they're curious, they think globally. So you need to be a tough student who is ready for work. If you are a prospective student, you really do not need to worry about whether you have any background in environmental study or in economics. The IMEP programs will equip you with everything you need. The only thing you need to do is apply for it. If you don't know what you want to do, come here and there are so many options. I've grown a lot with MF programs. I've learned practical skills, including public policy, economics, philosophy. This is an amazing opportunity to become part of the next generation of environmental leaders who will be well positioned, well trained to go out and solve the world's biggest environmental problems.